Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to exploit your Cisco router using router exploit. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all what is router exploit? So first of all if you go to this github directory actually here github.com slash trade 9 slash router exploit you can find here what we call actually router exploit framework so here as you can see in the readme file router exploit is exploitation framework for embedded devices okay so mainly it is actually used for exploiting vulnerabilities for Cisco routers for example camera or IoT okay and it's written in Python okay so for the installation it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is actually a couple of commands so here I'm gonna use actually Kali Linux but you can install it in Windows or Linux or uh, even in Mac OS okay so these are the commands that you can use in order to install it for example in Kali Linux so it's a couple of apt-get install python 3 and we actually clone this uh, github directory here okay and here you can install some requirement models for python and simply to run the program all you have to do is to run this python script rsf.py okay so you'll find all this command in the description they are pretty simple to execute okay so now let's move on to color linux and see what we can do actually with this framework okay so this is my color linux so after i executed the command in order to install it now as you can see I am on the router exploit directory so you can verify that by the command paint working directory here we go so in order to execute this framework as I told you you execute this command python3 rsf.py here we go so now we are in the router exploit okay framework so as you can see here but before using it I have to make a disclaimer this is just for actually educational and information purposes do not use it against anyone uh, for example router or someone IOT devices use it for the devices that you own okay so as you can see here at the bottom actually this uh, framework consists of a couple of models so here you can see the exploits models okay so we have actually also the scanner model and grids model some generic models also and payloads and encoders okay so as i have told you this framework is actually designed to compromise your router or IoT devices okay so it has a lot of script that try for example to check the device factory credentials it can actually conduct brute force attack also or use some exploits for actually routers or IoT devices okay so the first command that I'm gonna show you is actually show all which will allow us to see all the models that are in this framework so here you can see some exploits models okay and if we scroll up you will see the model creds that contains some credentials for IoT devices, for generic devices, for routers, and also some payloads and generics. Okay. If you want to see 
actually a specific model, we can use the command show for example exploits. Here we go, now it show me just exploits. Let's show for example the grids. Here we go, we have all the model that are related to the credentials here, okay? We can also use some uh, search or filtering uh, functions. For example, if you want to filter by a keyword, you can use the keyword search. For example, let me see all the models that contain the keyword Cisco, for example, because here we are going to exploit our Cisco router, for example. Here we go. So you can see here that we have some models or credentials models for Cisco routers, as you can see here. We have also some credentials for Cisco cameras and of course a lot of exploits for Cisco routers. Okay. You can also filter by devices. So for example, if I want to see all the models for the device cameras, I can do the same as search and here I have to specify the device is equal for example to cameras. Here we go. Now it shows me just credentials and exploits for the device type camera. Okay. So it's a pretty easy framework to use and of course there is a help function that you can also take a look at so this is the help that print this help menu you can use and model so you use this uh, keyword use then the model name in order to select the model but we will see that later we can also execute a command in shell and of course the search function that we have used before and finally there is an exit that exit this framework okay so the first thing that we actually gonna do here is to run scan so here i have on my home network i have cisco router that has an ip address 192.168.1.2 so i'm gonna start actually scan on this router to see if it has some vulnerabilities okay so in order to do that i'm gonna use actually a model name scanner slash auto pound it's a very known uh, model that we can use in order to scan for example our router for any vulnerability or exploits okay so here you can see that the, the prompt has changed it now it shows me that auto pound which means that I actually I selected this auto pound model so now that I have selected this model there is actually another uh, command that we must use in order to execute this model we have to make some options so let me show you the options that exist in this model show options of course you can always use your tab key in order to complete the rest of the commands okay so here as you can see this model needs actually a target which is actually an IPv4 or IPv6 address Okay, and the rest of the options here are the default one. So the vendor will be any, will be using HTTP actually, but not SSL. Okay, we can also use the FTP, SSH, Telnet, SNMP, and the thread, which is number of thread by default here, will use it. But if you want to change any of these options all you have to do is to type the word or the keyword set then the option but here the main actually option that we have to set before running actually this model 
is the target so we have to set our target so as I told you in order to set an option we type the command set then the option name so here it's the target then as you can see here we have to specify either the IPv4 IPv6 address so here my router IPv4 address is this one okay here we go now that our target has been selected we can now launch our model or our script that is written as I told you in Python so simply using the command run here we go now router exploit will be using all the scripts that are in this framework in order to find any vulnerability or exploits that exist in my home router okay so it will take uh, some time because there is a lot of actually script that will be run against my Cisco router okay so I'll pause the video and return back when the script finished okay so after a while you can see that actually it did not find any vulnerability because there is a minus sign besides every exploits here but router exploit has actually found some default credentials so here you can see it has found username admin with the password Cisco and Cisco username with the password Cisco which is true because actually I use this router just for educational purposes okay so whenever you see here like here a plus sign it means the router is vulnerable okay so you can see how easy it is with a router exploit to find for example here the default credentials okay and before uh, if you want to exit for example this uh, auto pound model all you have to do is to type the command back to get to the main menu or the main command line okay and of course if you want to exit it's simple as type in the command exit here we go so before I finish another thing this router exploit uh, actually framework is updated daily so you have also to update it in your actually box so in order to update it you go to the directory where you have installed your router exploits like here for example router exploits and you execute command git pull so in order to pull the latest update so here as you can see I am up to date okay so that was just a brief introduction to this uh, router exploit open source framework that helps to test actually your Cisco devices or any router to the main exploits that exist in the IT field okay as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye